the release of the new Dartland Gunner mod, we've had a lot of fun, but there was a couple of small problems with it. Some texture glitches, uh, some things were weird every here and there, but the main problem came from the middle path. The middle path was, for lack of better words, poopy. Really, really poopy. It was just underwhelming. It was really expensive, and the missiles didn't really blow anything up. I mean, it was just like, whew, But now, that's changed everybody. With the 2.0 version of the Dartland Gunner made by Baydock, it's going to be swell. It now has three times as much damage, and all the bugs have been ironed out. And honestly, it'd be a shame to not try out this amazing tower now. So, that's what we're gonna do, and if you guys wanna see more content like this, you guys know what to do. Sam, what do they do? I forgot. What are they supposed to do? Oh no! I forgot, what is it? Ah! Oh yeah, let's hit the like button. All right, guys, so let's get this party started. So we got our darling gunner. Can I, oh my goodness. Dude, could you imagine if I was able to put it right here? No, wait, wait, wait. No, is it not possible to, oh wait. Time out, guys. I have to get this. I have to. All right, guys, I think that's the best I'm actually gonna be able to get, but that's still not bad at all. So let's go ahead and do this. Oh my gosh. It's so far away, the Darling Gunner, like, barely works. It shoots so far away. Like, the problem is the distances. We're definitely going to want to get more accurate darts, for sure. So, let's go ahead. We're going to get focus firing. And then let's also, we might want to get, we can get wider darts. Because the thing with wider darts is just going to make it easier to hit balloons. And, I mean, like, look how nice this is. Eventually, we probably will want to get target lock. Target lock is probably one of the best things that's ever, ever existed. Look at that. So now this is going to be like destroying all the balloons. Eventually, we're going to want to get lucky shot. And then we're going to want to get the Hydra rocket pods. Because that's the main focus of this video is to be using these things. Which I think is going to be so very, very cool. Here, let's actually... We're going to set target. We're going to set the target here. So that it actually shoots kind of up at an angle. As you can see, since it shoots up at an angle, it'll hit the balloons here, and it'll also kind of go up and hit some of the balloons around here as well. Of course, we are going to need a little bit of help with some banana farms. Okay, you guys know how I love banana farms. Guys, I've been thinking, should I make my own banana farm? Like, in real life, guys, should I go in my backyard and see if I can grow, like, an actual banana tree? How cool would that be, guys? Like, actually having my own banana tree. Is it a tree? I'm pretty sure it's a banana tree. I mean, that's a tree. Is there any laws against having a banana tree? We're in the desert right now and the banana tree is growing. Oh no! Some balloons are getting by, guys. This is bad news bears. We need to upgrade it. Okay, we need to get the Hydra rocket pods ASAP as possible. Guys, okay? That's the only option we have. $2,160. We only need $160. Can I get another dollar? Can I get $2? Can I get $3? And sold to the man for $200. There we go. Oh my gosh. Holy cow, these are so much stronger now. These are so good. Okay, that's way better. Okay, valuable bananas. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. This is actually doing super duper well now. Okay. Let's see, I want to get a monkey bank, but that costs $3,000. That's kind of expensive, not going to lie. You know what I just realized, which really nice, is this guy can actually pop every single type of balloon. He can hit camo balloons, he can hit lead balloons, he can hit plasma balloons, he can't hit... Okay, I, guys, I lied. I lied to all of you, he can't! Literally, I was like, he can hit every single type of balloon! This guy cannot hit every single... Blah, 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 blah. I've lied, and I am sorry, guys. Follow mouse. <laughs> I'm literally such a clown. I lied to all of you guys. I was like, yeah, no worries. You can pop every, you can definitely pop every type of balloon. We want a village. I think getting a village is what's going to be like the most important. Village is going to be like crucial to get. Mainly because that'll allow us to pop all different types of balloons, right? Because ideally I'm using just this startling gunner to pop like the, the annoying balloons that I normally wouldn't be able to with this guy. Balloon area denial system is $37,000. That is so expensive. Holy cow. We're like slowly losing lives and it's kind of... I'm not gonna lie, guys. It's a little bit annoying. Let's get one more bank and I... Oh my gosh. Why are they sending all these black balloons at us? Stop it. We're not gonna lose here. I refuse to lose here. I refuse. We have 11 lives. Okay. He has 4,000 pops already, which is not bad, but like... 
Yeah, we definitely need to upgrade them. Yeah, if we don't start upgrading soon, we're in trouble. We're in trouble, guys. We're gonna pretend that didn't happen, guys. Don't worry about it. It's gonna be fine. All right, we really just need a village. I, I'm putting my foot down. It's time for a village, guys. It's time. I need to get MIB. Without MIB, like, this is all just gonna be very annoying to deal with. So let's collect all. Okay, MIB, bigger radius, and then we'll also get jungle drums. Okay, now we can actually deal with every type of balloon. All right, we don't need this. We can sell this, and now we can also go ahead and get jungle drums, which allows them to attack even faster. Yeah, and once, like, the balloons start grouping up, he starts doing a whole lot better. So we need to start focusing on trying to get the balloon area denial system, okay? That's that's the whole point, okay? The B-A-D-S, okay? That's the definitely going to be the most important thing. Because once we get that, then we get our ability. And our ability is so very powerful. A Moab... Oh, no, follow mouse, follow mouse, take it out, take it out. Oh, my goodness. Holy garbage, that's awful. I'm going to actually take both of these out. I'm going to collect all of our money, and I'm going to go ahead and grab another, another balloon area denial system, or one of these things. Okay, but we don't want it to be on set target. We want it to follow mouse. We have so many of these. Let's do this. Holy cow, there's so many missiles. There we go, just keep it on him. There we go. All right, easy, guys. Now we just have a whole bunch of rockets. And the rockets are going to be doing great for us. Okay, set target there. Set target here. Oh my gosh. Okay, this was definitely the play. Getting a couple more of these bad boys. Just so they, they can always be firing. And we are going to want to get a couple of more monkey farms though. Okay, like getting a couple more banana farms is going to make our lives a lot easier. And especially in the late game. Maybe not like immediately. But in the long run, it's going to help out a lot. All right, monkey bank. All right, I want one more monkey bank okay there we go now we have all of the monkey banks in the world okay we have exactly six monkey banks but that's still a lot of monkey banks so we're gonna make that work so now we need to get thirty-seven thousand for each of these for the balloon area denial system which is gonna make everything even crazier oh my gosh fortified balloons do not like okay the fortified balloons are not happy about that so these guys actually have a decent amount of problems getting through like ceramic and fortified slash balloons so what tells me is that we're going to need eventually to get a brewmaster. But they attack so fast that a brewmaster right now is not going to do that much. I mean, I guess we can go ahead and start working on getting a brewmaster down. Oh my gosh, is there no way to get a brewmaster? I don't know. I don't think that'll be able to actually reach him, which is really sad. Wait, what, what about like a brewmaster right here? No, there's no way. I think that's still just going to be the best option for us. All right, so we want stronger acid, perishing potions, and then we can go ahead and do that. And then so if he puts that on it and then that'll make I mean basically it's just gonna like wear off instantly But it'll allow him to do extra damage to ceramic balloons, which is the most important thing for us right now We have fifteen thousand dollars, which is pretty nice, but I don't think we have any reason to do anything with that right now Uh Oh, uh oh, yeah, no, that'll be fine And we we dealt with that moa, but I don't think we're gonna be able to we can't deal with the bfb just yet but hopefully by the time we have to deal with that, we're going to have enough money for the balloon area denial system. Yeah, right now we're able to deal with Moabs pretty well, but I want to be able to crush Moabs, okay? But you have to remember, this is still only a T3 tower. These can still be upgraded two more times, and they're already... We only have four towers, and they're doing great. So the fact that we haven't had to spend that much money is really, really nice if you think about it. There we go. Yeah, this guy is actually doing a lot. I really want to get him into a permanent brew. Turning them into a permanent brew will permanently make me happy. So that's going to be nice. Actually, if we actually, if we, if we're able to not take out of the banks, we might be, I think we might be in trouble. No, we're okay. Sorry guys, my game ended up crashing for some weird reason and I had to just fix some things around, but we're back now and ready to rumble. We're at around 56 now and I know I only have one of these towers, but it's fine because we've upgraded it to the BADS balloon area denial system. Why is it called the balloon area denial system you might ask? Well, simple because of its amazing ability to absolutely annihilate every balloon ever ever also i'm gonna go ahead and upgrade this to greater production if i push this button right here whoosh it sends out this huge massive wave of balloons that just kind of destroys everything which is really 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 nice to have guys like super duper nice to have here as you can see whoosh now the problem is is it's kind of a like targeted ability which makes it a little difficult especially if i'm moving like my, my cursor around 
I wish I could press one in order to use it, right? Because, like, I can't do that. But if I ended up doing this... Wait, can I, like, whoosh? I wonder if I... Wait, what happens if I click it? So, the problem is it's definitely, like, not a super targeted ability. So, I want to focus more on getting the system upgrade. More! More! Which is $64,000. Which, I definitely believe that I'm going to be able to get that. Oh, we're going up against the BFB, baby. And... Oh, I'm trying to, like, click on this ability. There we go. The problem is, is it just, like, shoots off into the corner, which is not that great. Which is not something that I want to happen. But we're destroying just simple Moabs now. I remember when we first got this, like, ability, it was not that good. It's definitely a million times better now. So we're going to go ahead. I actually want to get this guy. And we're going to go ahead and I'm going to upgrade it to target lock. And we're going to upgrade it to the hydro rockets. And then I'm going to have it set target there. And I want to eventually be able to turn that into also a balloon area denial system. Because I feel like that. Oh my gosh. That was a fortified Moab. I was not ready for that. That guy almost came out of nowhere and got us. That could have been really bad, guys. But luckily, it worked out for us. Oh no. Keep going. We just got to keep going forward. We're going to be okay. I'm going to go ahead and get Permabrew. So that way we can have the Permabrew effect on him. Which is going to make him do more damage to fortified balloons. Look at that. They're already starting to do it. Come on, more! Look at that. I mean, just by getting that upgrade allowed us to become so much stronger. We're at round 65 now, so we're doing pretty good for ourselves. But I definitely want to get this guy to the system upgrade, which costs $64,000. Now, we can sell these guys, which is going to give us considerably more money. So, we might think about doing that pretty soon. But, I mean, that's only twenty, like twenty-six, twenty-seven thousand dollars $27,000. So, it's not a lot. And it's definitely not going to be enough to be able to win us the game. I would probably feel more comfortable if we get... I'd like to get just this guy upgraded and get this guy to be a lot stronger. So I'm down to give it a try. Let's see. All right, so this guy has 71 pops. This guy only has 4,000 pops. But that's just because of this guy's, like, super-duper good abilities. Right? Once this guy also gets the abilities, I think we're going to be in business. I mean, we only have $11,000, though, but only 13 rounds until round 80. How's this looking? $18,000? Not bad, but it definitely could be better. I want to upgrade this guy to the BADS system as quickly as possible. Like, if we're going to be able to do that, that'll be no problem whatsoever, and our lives will just become a whole lot easier. I can't wait to actually get it, like, fully upgraded, especially and put, have it on something that has target lock. Target lock is what's going to make it, like, really, really good. Keep going. Especially when all the balloons get to like right here right in front of them because as you can see a lot of rockets are missing Which is not good. We don't like it when the rockets are missing. Oh And yeah, the BFB just got wiped out eight thousand dollars. That's forty one thousand dollars I actually think we're gonna be able to get all of the upgrades that we're gonna want to get which is gonna be really 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 nice Actually, we only need to get this upgrade twice. So thirty seven thousand and then sixty four thousand So we need about a hundred thousand dollars so, balloon area denial system, and then we need 64000 No problem. So, let's go ahead and sell all of these, and that's $72,000. System upgrade. So, as you guys can see, that's the system upgrade. And as you can see, there's two different abilities. So, look at this. Whoosh! Holy cow! That's so good! It just sends out this giant swarm of rockets. I'm assuming the best time to use it, though, is definitely if it's like... Oh my gosh, that's so good. Let's go. Okay, we just got to keep going forward. Oh, no, here comes the BFEs. We got to take them out, guys. It's the only option, guys, okay? The only option, round 74. All right, keep going, and boop. There we go. So what is really strange, guys, is it's a super weird glitch. You see how it says it's round 73? It's not actually round 73. The game is thinking is going backwards in time. But as you can see, so we're at round 75 right now, I think. So watch this. So Moab's going to show up, and it's going to jump back to round 73. But for some reason, we're still moving forward in the game. And we are going to be able to go up against the ZOMG. Just watch. You guys will see. It's really strange how this works. I don't know why. We're working on trying to figure out why it is the way that it is. But the game still progresses forward normally. So I really don't know what, what what's happening. It's kind of bizarre, isn't it, guys? So this is going to be round 76, I think. We'll see. So, and, and what's really nice is I can just use that ability. I need to be, for some reason, my one hotkey is not, oh, whoops, is not on the right ability. So I can't just press, like, one to use my ability. But the two ability works just fine. And, like, look at this. Ready? Let's play it in slow motion. Whoosh! That ability is one of the coolest abilities in Blooms. Like, 
for sure. It's just so nice. And I so it's gonna we're gonna stop and it's gonna go back to round 73 because this game's weird for some strange reason. And we're trying to figure out why it's weird. Alright, so what what are we on right now? We're on 76 or 77. Oh, this might be around 70. No, we're probably around like 76 or something. But this definitely looks like round 79 with like the rainbow regions and then the BFPs. This very well could be round 79. It's a big possibility because that's what, only like five rounds? Eh, we'll have to see. See, and we also have this ability. Uh oh, fortified BFPs. How much money is. I want to get permanent brew, but there's no way we're going to be able to get permanent brew. Permanent brew is just too good. Come on, keep taking them out. Yeah, once they get, like, in radius, boom, absolutely annihilated. And so here we go. This is going to be probably, yeah, this is the ZOMG, but it says round 74. How strange is that, guys? That's pretty bizarre, right? But here we go. Let's take out the ZOMG using our Hydra Rockets. Go, go, go. Boom, use the ability quickly. All right, who's getting the most pops? This guy's 50,000. Oh, my gosh, this one has 200,000 pops. That is so crazy. All right, keep going. Come on. Oh, my and that's that, guys. The new upgraded Dartland Gunner is absolutely crazy. And we didn't technically win because the round is weird like that. But we beat the ZOMG, and that's all that matters, guys. If you guys enjoyed, hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications. You guys are amazing. I love you all, and I'll see you tomorrow for more awesome content. Bye, everyone. Bye. <laughs>